what's going on guys sit here uh, as you can see I have a bunch of stuff to show you uh, stuff I've been saving up over the last few days um, we have Dollar General pickups we have thrift store pickups we have birthday uh, haul we got mail so just all kinds of stuff so need to go ahead and get right into it hope everybody's doing well uh, I just woke up so please bear with me uh, in this video um, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll get the mail out of the way uh, two packages here uh, this one here is a Listia win and this one here is a Facebook trade Bunch of wrestling autographs here. These are all 2010. Yep, 2010 TNA cards. Now we have Jay Lethal. Is the camera going to focus? Yep, there we go. Jay Lethal, Tracy Brooks. Homicide and Orlando Jordan. So very cool, nice additions to the collection there. Uh, as I said, this is a Listia win here. Nice uh, baseball autograph card here, and this is. I guess Rudy L Lugo Elemental Autographs it's out of 2007 Elements Baseball former professional baseball player there very nice card uh, some base or baseball some birthday stuff I got here uh, my wife Got me Turbo Kid. Been wanting to see this movie for a long time. So Turbo Kid on Blu-ray, brand new. Only $15 shipped for that. And yes, uh, I know how much it costs because I found it on eBay and I asked her if she'd get it for me. So she did. Cannot wait to watch that movie. Uh, she also got me this bank. This and as you can hear, I've already got money in it. This is a, she only paid five bucks at Walmart on clearance. Iron Man bust bag. It's official Marvel product. And it's, uh, it's not plastic or anything. It's, it's ceramic. That is super cool. Uh, and then Dollar General pickups. I've got a couple of these... Uh, wrestling uh, ring toys. I got that set, and then uh, this set still sealed. There are two different sets. You can see the the, uh, the men there are all different. So, wrestling toys on a budget. Only five bucks a piece on these. And my daughter and I have already played with this one, and they're a lot of fun pretty excited about those uh, let's see this is antique mall pickups got uh, a 1972 issue of National Lampoon and I paid uh, two bucks for that pretty cool I haven't looked at the uh, National Lampoon magazine in a long time but check this out it has a little uh, color comic strip here by none other than Neil Adams how cool is that I never knew uh, Neil Adams did uh, work for National Lampoon so that is pretty cool awesome stuff there 
Okay, and then I also got this planchette. This Ouija board planchette. Paid three dollars. Uh, you guys might remember um, a lot of videos back. Uh, I picked up a really old uh, Ouija board and it did not have the planchette with it. So now I have one. Let's see. And then uh, some thrift store stuff here. Picked up a Viewmaster. It's a 1998 Viewmaster. It's got a uh, Lion King card in here. Didn't have one of these in the collection, so I figured I might as well get one. Just because uh, the cards come up every now and then, so it's good to have a Viewmaster. And I got this book, King of the Witches. Unfortunately, it has no dust jacket, but this is King of the Witches, The World of Alex Sanders. This is from 1969, and it's all about the Wiccan witch, Alex Sanders. That's him right there. Here's a shot for you. But he died in 1988. It was really... Some bizarre stuff in here, but it was really weird and surprising to find this book. I don't know if it has any more pictures or if that's it. I guess that's it. I really wish it had the dust jacket in it, but very cool book. Shoot just a second here, guys. I gotta blow my nose. Okay, sorry about that. Next up we have one of these Time Life books uh, of the Enchanted World. And this is Wizards and Witches. I think I paid a dollar a piece on these books. I used to have quite a few of these Time Life uh, Enchanted World books, but I've sold or traded them, I guess, over the years. So now this is the only one I have. So I'll start the collection back up again. So very cool. This stuff here is all from the same thrift store. Got a Freddy Krueger mask. How cool is that? Uh, this particular thrift store has started getting their Halloween stuff out. Paid three dollars for that. Uh, I thought this was neat. I also paid three dollars for this. This is uh, Mini Labs Tech Series Crystal Radio. And it even comes with a little uh, receipt here. They paid nine dollars and thirty-six cents of a tax for this, but you can actually build your own crystal radio, real working crystal radio. There's no date anywhere on this, unfortunately, but it's got to be late seventies perhaps early 80s, but probably late 70s. I always get sealed vintage toys whenever I can. Uh, this is also very cool. This is a space sticker book with reusable stickers, peel and play. This is from 1986. The camera will focus. There we go. 
and it was originally sold at half price books for $4.98. Uh, I paid a dollar. But this is a very, very cool book on space. Some really great drawings in here. But then you get to here's the Kennedy Space Center. And that's where you can start putting your stickers down, but the stickers are all unused. Check that out. Brand new. A big fold out thing to put your stickers on. But I thought that was too cool that it was unused. That was awesome. And then lastly, I'm not their store, we got the Marvelous Michael Jackson book, an unauthorized biography. A little hardcover book here. Very cool. Big fan of Michael Jackson. This is Weekly Reader Books, 1984. Very neat. And I paid 70 cents for that. Alright, lastly, got a bunch of books at the final thrift store, a few other things. Uh, I got this puzzle for a dollar. Oh, actually, it was half price though. It just, this is all half price. So, this was a dollar, so I paid 50 cents. This is a Wizard of Oz uh, puzzle. Dorothy and the Scarecrow, 1975. I have no idea if, uh, if all the pieces are here. I haven't tried to put this together yet. I got back home pretty late yesterday. But I scored a bunch of books. Uh, we got this issue of Hot Dog Magazine here, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. This is Hot Dog number three. And it's from 1980. Nice Wizard of Oz article. I used to love Hot Dog Magazine. Very, very cool. We got that. I paid probably about a quarter a piece for all these books that are in here. We got the Battlestar Galactica storybook. Super, super cool. Uh, then we got the Monster Mishmash and other spare parts unearthed and illustrated by Alfred Perry. Nice little kids monster book. Lots of jokes here. That's from 1976. <laughs> Very cool. And then we got a couple of electric company books. This is the Silent Ease from Outer Space. This is put together like a comic book, pretty much. Uh, what's the date? 1973, the year I was born. Which I just celebrated my birthday the other day, August 9th. Today is August 11th. So that's pretty neat. And then we have uh, the Electric Company Joke Book. Uh, 
and it's illustrated by Jack Rickard. Very cool. And that's also 1973. Uh, then I picked this up. This is uh, Reminisce. That's Entertainment. Reliving the magic of iconic movies, television, radio, and more. Really nice hardcover book from the, the makers of Reminisce magazine. This will be a fun one to look at. Good stuff in this book here. That's awesome. Bone Ranger. Here's some autograph stuff there. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Still going with the books. We got Bringing Up Your Parents, Will Eisner. We all know Will Eisner is famous for his work on The Spirit. This is 1980. Very cool. Got the Wizard of Oz. More Wizard of Oz stuff to add to my daughter's collection. This nice little scholastic book, 1964. Nice old book there. Monster Holidays by Norman Bridwell, creator of Clifford the Dog. I used to have this book a long time ago. Very cool. Uh, and that's 1974. Almost done, guys. got Pebbles of Bam Bam, The Wicked Witch. That's 1978. Then we got The Mysterious Monsters. Proof. There are giant creatures living at the edge of our civilization. Astounding new evidence and facts. This is now a major motion picture. That's pretty weird. Give me just a second, guys. Okay. Mysterious monsters. Got a bunch of pictures here in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys and hold it open at the same time. Probably not. <laughs> okay, this is from 1975. So you got Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, etc., etc. So pretty neat stuff here. There's apes, there's Loch Ness. Bunch of different stuff there. Pretty neat book here. We got Barnabas Collins. Uh, these are all jokes. Dark Shadows jokes. Pretty cool. We got the Dynamite Monster Hall of Fame. Very cool stuff here. Here's the mummy. Boris Karloff. 
Godzilla, the Wolfman, Frankenstein's monster, Dracula. Awesome stuff. And then we got a whole crap ton of Peanuts books and Man Magazine. And also we got this Tiger by Bud Blake. America's newest comic sensation. I've never heard of Tiger. But here it is. So that's pretty cool. 1969. First printing. And we got Boiling Mad. There's the Peanuts books. We got Boiling Mad. Mad's Maddest Artist Don Martin drops 13 stories. The Self Made Mad. The Mad Frontier. And Mad's Dave Berg looks at the USA. So I don't know if I have any of these already. I have quite a few Mad Magazine paperbacks. And I never remember what I have. So I might have some of these already. But super cool. Can't pass them up anyway, even if I have them already. Uh, we got Marmaduke. Marmaduke again. We got Mork and Mindy Puzzlers. Now some of these have already been done, but thankfully they've been done in pencil. So I can erase them. Let's see. But they've been done in pencil, so I can erase them, so we're good. Super cool. Now here's the Peanuts books. We got uh, It's For You, Snoopy. There's No One Like You, Snoopy. Very funny Charlie Brown. And you're a winner, Charlie Brown. So very cool. And then lastly, we have Dennis the Menace. And his pal, Joey. So I hit the comic strip paperback mother load. <laughs> oh. And last but not least, for a dollar, which after half price was only 50 cents, this very cool glass from January 1st, 1954. This is the Orange Bowl. And uh, final score was Oklahoma 7. Maryland zero. So OU nineteen OU nineteen fifty three six straight years in the top ten. It says here that's this guy here, number sixty four. This is guard JD Roberts. Outland Award nineteen fifty three. Linesman of the Year, Fox Movie Tone Linesman of the Year, AP Linesman of the Year. And it's got signatures from, I'm, I'm assuming, all the then OU players. How cool is that? From 1954. It's still survived. That's amazing. And that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to talk to you guys later. See you.